again with Andy from. <laughs> Sorry, that was murder. That's <laughs> <laughs> from, Australia. Yeah, from Australia. From uh, Australia. So yeah, last time we spoke was in Wacken, and you were playing the wet stage, which was, which was in a tent. Yes. And it was amazing. Yes. So I've made the trip to Bristol because your argument was, if you can come all the way from Australia to play Bristol, yes, I can come from Cardiff. Ca- yeah. But did I say that to you? Because you did. Because then you went on a whole thing of why Wales is great. You got Gareth Thomas <laughs> and uh, that cyclist guy. Who, yeah, um, yeah Garrett Thomas, the cyclist, and uh, Gareth Bale, the soccer player. Yeah. Or you guys call it football. Um, no, even online, <laughs> people, we'd announce the tour lineup. Oh, why won't you come and play Cardiff? I'm like, it's 45 minutes away. Yeah. And we played Cardiff in 2017 on our last headliner in Europe. So this time we're going to play Bristol, spreading the love, you know. How many times do you get asked to come to Brazil? Uh, <laughs> well... I manage all the band's social media, and I would estimate that my phone receives, on average, over 10,000 notifications a day, <laughs> and at least a thousand of those are saying, come to Brazil. And I think the, every band is, like, the biggest band ever it's, in Brazil. It's crazy, and I, I, I keep joking, like, all right, I'll book a tour there, and no one will come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's either there or Mexico. There's always, come to Mexico, come to Brazil. I'd love to, but, yeah, the shows better be good. Yeah. What are you bringing to us? <laughs> yeah. Um, so the album's been out a while now. Mm-hmm. I think it'd only been out, I think, possibly a week or yeah, something probably, like that. Yeah, probably about two weeks by the time yeah. we played Varkin. Yeah, so I mean, what's the reception now been like? Uh, pretty good, I guess. Uh, this tour's doing really, really good for us. Um, we basically took all the money that we possibly could make and spent it on the show. <laughs> Having, like, really cool production. So hopefully everyone enjoys that. Um, so it's like we, a five pound buyout every day kind of thing? Yeah, well, we're in the UK, so they don't really give you any food at all. And all the food here is pretty garbage. I mean, the garbage food is good, but the food is still garbage. So. Is it just like carrots and hummus and bread? <laughs> yeah. It's like every rider. Doritos, and then I don't know. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to go on a diet. I, I went oh, overboard no. on the holidays, so no Doritos. But um, so far, you know... Uh, Record sales and all those sorts of things and streaming figures are all really cool and whatnot. But for us, like, the proof is in the touring. Yeah. And the show's been crazy for us. So, you know, I think that means it's been received pretty well. And you've been announced for download, which is, I think is always a good sign of you're doing we, pretty good. We have. It's a shame they announced us for download while we're still in the UK trying to sell out some shows. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty dirty at them about that. Um, but, you know... I'm very stoked and on the main stage for the first time ever oh. at Download. I think it'll be our third time at the festival. And you've so, slowly gone up stage by stage? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we... we I don't know if we headlined a stage last year. We played... Oh, the year before. We played pretty high up on it. Uh, so to be on the main stage this year is pretty exciting. Which day is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's sometime in June. Cool. I'll take that. It's in my calendar. <laughs> Definitely. Um... So the album's been out, like I said, a while now, and a couple of songs that have sprung to me, uh, sprung to the standout for me, apart from the the singles. And I was trying to digest the album while it came out. Uh, is Warriors of Death and yep. uh, God? That was a really good one. Second track new, in new after. Gods. Yeah. Yep. So where did, how did those songs come about? Because when I spoke to you about Human Target, that riff came in while you were shooting us in a supermarket. With your oh no, wife that, was, that, that was Death Squad and oh that's the one. <laughs> I'm just going around that and that and that and that. Yeah, um, no, New Gods is a Sean song and Voyage into Death also is a Sean song. And what's funny is New Gods started off horribly. It <laughs> uh, when we're writing in the studio, I have a room like here and he has a room like here, and our producer Will Putney is normally working on another band or record downstairs. Yeah, Yeah. And occasionally we'll check in who's doing what. <laughs> and I just heard like this heinous riff coming from Sean's room. I'm like, what's going on in here? It sounds like Daughters, this like kind of grindy punk band. I'm like, I'd, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing it with, <laughs> with no. whatever, wherever you're going with this. And then uh, eventually like we put in some work to it and it kind of came together as this pretty short song uh, musically. And then CJ had the idea for 
Yes, uh, it really annoys him when his wife uses her phone <laughs> instead of like talking to him. He's like, I'm on tour all the time. And I come home and you just sit on your phone. Um, so he's like, you know, and I'd been doing a lot of reading about uh, the involvement of social media in, in widespread depression, panic disorders. Is and that why you're in charge of the band's social media? Um, it's not that why I am, but I mean, like, I try to be aware of <laughs> current kind of conversational yeah, pieces um and so you using your phone like makes you radically depressed and this guy johan hari who's from the uk actually uh wrote a book called lost connections and he talks about um social media being a form of like modern culture okay uh you know like historically people had various elements that were, were part of their culture and modern society's culture is social media I mean, so much of it is driven by social media and revolves around it. Um, so, m so many things that people do are only because of social media. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do this because it'll look really cool on the internet and really they have no other interest in it. And so that's where, like, the whole line, like, this isn't culture, this is mind control comes from. It's kind of a rip on him. Um, Voice into Death is kind of about, like, this institutionalized prison state in the States. Uh, you know, privatized systems and all all that kind of jazz, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple beater kind of Cannibal Corpse style song. We we actually wanted uh, Corpse Grinder to sing on it, and he was going to, and then uh, it was too late for the al to make the oh, no. album release date. So yeah, always next time. Maybe we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've uh, you've stuck with the same artist as well, from uh, who actually had a an art exhibition in one of the press tents at Varkin because he oh, did really? Behemoth's yeah. album and he also did Soulfly's Ritual album as well. Yeah, he's, um, he's done quite he's a done few loads, covers. Yeah, Testament it's mainly like Nuclear, um, Nuclear Blast type thing because they had their own little... Um, yeah, I'm not sure how he really came into the fold. He did like an old Hatebreed um, album cover, some old Testament ones and I, it was actually recommended to me by our A&R guy in New York, Monty Connor, when I was sh fishing around for artists in maybe late 2016 yeah and I started thinking about like the concepts for Dear Desolation I'm like oh who am I going to get I want like a painter and he linked me up with Eleron who lives in Berlin and uh, he's been a pleasure to work with the last five years yeah do you give him an idea of where the album is or does he just yeah paint, paint something and then show you like the uh, his visual interpretation of he yeah. definitely I'd let him lead the charge we're, we're working on I mean given the most recent record we're probably him and I together are doing three album covers this year on projects we're working on together okay and I try to get him the music early on so uh, even before we we start working on the cover you know just so he can jam the music and kind of live with it and then once as lyrics come together I'll send him those and working titles for the album um and oftentimes, well, actually, with the last two records, our kind of it takes me a long time to digest the concepts from the lyrics as well and sum it up in a way that I want to present to the world. And somehow, him and I have got this mind meld thing going on where we come to the same conclusion at roughly the same time. That's pretty good. So, uh, the, with Dear Desolation, I kind of said, Oh, hey, I think we're going to call the album Dear Desolation. He's like, Perfect, because I've got the concept and it kind of works with that. And the same thing with Human Target. I didn't know if I was going to call the album Human Target. Decided that I was. Thought I better let him know. And he was like, well, I've just been sketching and I think that's perfect for what I've sketched. The, the sense of scale on that that piece yeah. is either the people are really teeny tiny yeah. or it's a massive fucking cog. Yeah, it's a wheel thing. I, I like to think of it as the Jawa sand crawler from Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, you do need yeah. some more flutes, maybe some... Doo -doo. Yeah, no, it's, yeah pretty brutal so yeah I mean are there tracks that have stood out on this album that work live that you weren't expecting to um no I, at this point I think that we kind of generate the music no, taking into account how it will work live um we spent so much of the last decade on the road it's just kind of built into us now yeah. I, th I think if we never toured we might write different music at this point of our careers but having toured so much it's just this would yeah. work great with yeah the, yeah but what we like to hear musically is is so much aligned with what we'd like to play live 
uh, in terms of energy, tempo, heaviness, and and stuff like that. But yeah, we've, we're playing. We've played six off the new record. We we're shooting for seven or eight, but some of the songs are really hard. So <laughs> we're gonna have to practice yeah. a bit to get those uh, rocking, and hopefully one day we'll be able to play the whole album back to front. So how do you figure out which of the back catalogue gets not retired but removed from the those staple songs in the set list? Uh, it's a complicated situation over like what what in our experience works well live um, what we have fun playing what the crowd enjoys obviously we're, we're representing a current record so we want to play a lot of human target songs Yeah, but we, we take into account a lot of things I've got a lot of um, data that comes in from iTunes Apple Music Spotify so we can see what songs are trending in which okay. territories cool. what's popular and uh, try and incorporate that into the set and then, then after that it's just a factor of culling for the time or adding for the time, you know? Yeah, yeah. So the, the mandatory thing is we wanted to play at least six out, six songs off the new record, and then we have an hour on this current tour, so let's fill out the rest of the hour with some other bangers. Awesome. I mean, there's a... There's a um, you've got a fit for an autopsy. You were fucking... That album's just wicked. Can't mm-hmm. affect us main support as well. Is there a band that you'd like to tour with that haven't that would make people, like, be taken aback? I'd like to see the Who support you, not the old band, but the, oh, Mon- the, the, the Mongolian uh, yeah. band. Yeah, they're pretty ginormous. I don't know if we'd be supporting them or they'd be supporting <laughs> us. I, I, yeah, one of the promoters here, a friend of ours, he put me onto them <laughs> <laughs> last year maybe, and I was like, what on earth is this? It's pretty cool. I mean, no, I don't know. It's, that's a bit left of center. Ginger would be a bit left of center for us. They're a pretty, yeah, pretty they're popular pretty good, band yeah. at the moment. They had a, no. a fantastic set of whacking as well. We've got no surprises. We don't want to tour with like rap artists or pop artists. We just like playing with good metal bands and that's all we do. Can't go wrong <laughs> with that. Yeah. Andy, man, good catching up with you. No again. worries. And, Thanks uh, a lot. I look forward to the set. Obviously, the album's Should awesome. Be, uh, Should be good. good. Show Should tonight. Hopefully. Yeah. Close to selling out, so we'll see. Wow, that's pretty good.